So the reason why you started watching this video is because you were thinking, should I buy a Gibson R9 59 Les Paul Standard? The answer is yes. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. No, I'm kidding. All right. This is probably the most expensive guitar that I've held in my hands in quite a while. So the Les Pauls from the 50s through to the 60s were probably the most coveted guitars in history. Um, everybody we know and love today play these bad boys. Jimmy Page, Peter Green, Gary Moore. I mean, the list goes on. So the Gibson R9 goes back to the way Gibson built guitars in those eras. So this guitar is basically an exact replica of what the 59 Les Paul would have been. If, if, even the way they assembled it is assembled, you know, same as in that era. I read somewhere that even the way they put the truss rod in, you know, it's not a modern, it's actually like very, very old school. The only cool thing about it is the custom buckers, humbuckers that these guitars have been. Still original to the PAF tone, but uh, I mean, everything else in this on this guitar is absolutely it's like I'm holding a guitar that's 50 years old and it rocks. So going through the Mesa Boogie Fillmore, I'm not even going to go through the clean channel. So let's see what the bridge pickup sounds like on this bad boy. Are you ready? <laughs> It is, it, it's, it's amazing, it's amazing. Middle pickup. Little bit more. And then the neck pickup for those. Someone buy this for me, please. All right, so this is not mine. This is available at Marshall Music. Um, if you're watching this video from outside of South Africa, Marshall Music is in South Africa. If you're watching this video from within South Africa, Marshall Music would meet the Gibson Les Paul R9 59 reissue. This thing is probably the best thing you could own in your life, ever. If you like my channel like and subscribe be cool be a brew be lacquer if you're not from south africa lacquer means be cool so and uh yeah see you guys next time